Hello dear friends, today Tesla showed two versions of its new ventilators using Model 3 and Model 3 parts and also Model S parts. In fact, from Model S, it uses the transmission parts. Very interesting. And also Tesla says that we want to use parts for the Tesla made ventilators that we know really well. Tesla showed two versions of its ventilators, a prototype model with its components laid out across a desk, as well as a packaged model that shows how it might look when used by a hospital. Welcome back, dear Torque News subscribers and viewers. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Before I explain everything and I show you Tesla's video, please take a moment, subscribe to our channel and like this video and uh, not to miss my other videos that are coming about Tesla. Now, let me give you a little background about the Tesla ventilators before showing you Tesla's video. This way, it will be easier to understand what Tesla engineers talk about in the video. So Tesla has now uh, showed us two versions of its ventilators and gave us a ventilator update. In a new video posted on the company's YouTube channel, Tesla's engineers show off two versions of the ventilator, a prototype model with the components laid out across a desk, as well as a packaged model that shows packaged ventilator model that shows how it might look when used by a hospital. Tesla CEO Elon Musk promised to build the ventilator last month after the New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio asked for the company's help. And we have reported that news at Torque News YouTube channel. Tesla has been now criticized for attempting to invent a new ventilator rather than utilizing an existing design but the video helps to explain its reasoning this is why this video is valuable and you are about to see it we want to use parts that we know really well we know the reliability of and they are available in volume one of tesla's engineers explains the company's ventilator design repurposes multiple components from the cars including the Model 3's infotainment screen and computer, that's already interesting, isn't it? As well as a part used in the Model S's suspension system. In theory, using these components should help speed up the development and manufacturing process of the machines, of these ventilators. Now, Tesla also isn't alone in attempting to develop a new ventilator design. Yesterday, The Guardian reported that British firm are per, uh, firms actually are pulling resources as they have been developing their own ventilator designs. So you, you can see Tesla is not alone in developing its own ventilator design. One high profile manufacturer is Dyson, who received an order for 10,000 ventilators from the British government. However, as of yesterday, Dyson's design is yet to receive regulatory approval from the relevant authorities, according to The Guardian. In the United States, fellow car manufacturers Ford and General Motors have announced plans to make ventilators and other vital equipment for the medical community. Ford is asking, actually Ford is working with the General Electric's healthcare division to try and make a simplified version of its ventilators, while GM has partnered with Ventec Life Systems to help increase production of its machines. If you are interested in these things, please look at one of our earlier reports last week or the week before explaining Ford and GE General Motors involvement in uh, ventilator making along with Tesla. As well as developing its own ventilator design, Musk says that he is also purchasing FDA-approved ventilators and shipping them to organizations that need them. However, when NYC Health and Hospitals tweeted to thank the CEO for the essential equipment, others pointed out that what was pictured were BPAP, Bilevel Positive Airway Pressure machines, which are not as useful for intensive care units, according to the Financial Times. 
Elon Musk has faced a wave of criticism for his responses to the current virus situation and attempting to keep uh, and for attempting to keep Tesla's California factory open in violation of shelter in place order. You know that the Fremont factory eventually were suspended or as Tesla put it orderly shut down. Now, but despite Elon Musk's early skepticism about the virus, at least Tesla's latest video that you are about to see shows that the company's work on ventilator is progressing. Now let's take a look at the video please, but please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell and like this video and uh, enjoy this upcoming video from Tesla and I will see you in our next report. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. Hey guys, a lot of stuff going on around with the coronavirus. So this is Tesla Engineering. Uh, we're in the lab and we've been working on some stuff. We just wanted to share it with you. Um, we're trying to make some ventilators out of some car parts so that we can help out the medical industry without taking away from their supply. So I'm going to give it over to Joe Mardal and uh, he's going to tell you about what we've been doing. As Lars said, we've been working on developing our own ventilator design, specifically one that's heavily based on Tesla car parts. We want to use parts that we know really well, we know the reliability of, and we can go really fast and they're available in volume. So, so here's our kind of high-level schematic design. You can see that all the red parts here are a Tesla vehicle parts, so we've used a lot of those. Um, what is a ventilator? A ventilator is a device that helps patients breathe who can't breathe well for themselves. And it does that by forcing air into their lungs with a pressure or a volume control, and then it exhale passively. And now I'll take you to our first round of prototype that we developed. Um, and Guru can talk you through that on the bench here. Hi, everyone. So I'm going to walk you through the first prototype we've built. So this is the hospital grade supply uh, of air that is going into a mixing chamber, which is a car part that we use in our uh, vehicles. This is where the oxygen and the air mixes together, and then it passes through a wall body, uh, which, use, uh, which is used to uh, create the waveforms, the pressure and the volume waveforms. Uh, then the air coming out of this wall body goes to a bunch of sensors. So this is a flow rate sensor, this is a pressure sensor. Uh, it then goes through a filter and goes into the patient's lung and then carbon dioxide is put into that air and then goes through the exhale pipes and goes through a set of sensors uh, and then goes through the exhale valve which is used to throttle the pressure of the lung so you always keep a positive pressure on the lung so which helps the COVID-19 patients to uh, breathe keeps their lungs open um, so yeah that's the Tesla ventilator first prototype and now I'm going to put you over to Ben, who's going to show you the packaged version of the same. This system is powered by the Model 3 infotainment system. Up here at the top, we have a Model 3 center display touchscreen. This touchscreen is powered by the Model 3 infotainment computer in here, which controls Model 3 vehicle controllers. These vehicle controllers talk to these precision variable valves on this single piece manifold which we designed to be easy to put together. This gives us three different ways to control what's happening to the patient. Pressure regulated volume control, pressure control, or volume control for the most amount of flexibility for the most acute patients out there. We also put in on the bottom a backup system. So with an O2 tank, our backup battery, and the air compressor, you get 20 to 40 minutes to move that patient where you need to to give them the care that they deserve. Now coming back up to the top, let's see what's happening on the UI. First of all, we've got a respiratory uh, simulator right here. It's basically simulating what a lung does. Um, it has a various amounts of compliance and is breathing. That breath is actually being plotted out up here. We have three plots for pressure, flow, and volume. And you can see the line moving across as the lung is breathing. Now, if something happens to the lung and constricts it, you can see the pressure waveforms change overlaid on the history of the previous 12 seconds. That's important so a doctor can see if they're improving or something's going wrong. There's still a lot of work to do, but we're giving it our best effort to make sure we can help some people out there.